Knicks are tanking. They've lost six in a row. They lost the Sacramento Kings on Saturday night. And their owner, their owner has his finger directly on the pulse of how to piss everybody off even more because there is no worse owner in all of sports than one James Dolan, as we all know. It's a trigger effect for me yes, as indeed. a lifelong Nick fan, born in Brooklyn, raised in Staten Island, fell in love with him in the 70s. Just want to go over my bona fides in case you're just joining us for some reason. Fell in love with him in the 70s on the back end of Red Holtzman's tenure. Missed the whole glory years, but... Grew up in Madison Square Garden. Bernard King, my favorite Nick of all time. Patrick Ewing being drafted by the Knicks. We'll never forget. I was in my parents' blue safari station wagon, hearing the news, I believe, on 1010 wins. After traffic and weather together, give them 22 minutes, they'll give you the world. I heard Dave DeBusher celebrating as the general manager of the Knicks, the, the ping pong balls. Or the envelope coming out, frozen the frozen envelope, envelope, frozen envelope, envelope coming frozen out. Envelope. Right. I heard all that. I celebrated. I have lived and died, but I'm done with this team. I was done with this team the minute that Oakley got dragged out of the garden and Dolan let him rot in jail overnight. Because Oakley had the temerity to speak out against this owner instead of throwing rose petals at his born on third base hitting a triple feet. So this news comes courtesy of TMZ. You will hear a fan telling him to sell the team as he's walking out of the tunnel in Madison Square Garden after the loss. And you'll hear somebody referred to as Kevin at the end. I'll do my best to guess who Kevin is. Roll tape. Sell the team! Anything I can sell, sell the team? It. You want to not come to any more games? Why? Yeah, that's rude. It's an opinion. Uh, no, it's not an opinion. And you know what? Enjoy watching him on TV. Him. Him. What? Bring him. Yeah. Him. Hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin. Hold him for Kevin, says a guy who appears to be security with an earbud in his ear. And we're assuming Kevin is the guy who maybe Dolan was motioning to for radio audience. He was looking at somebody, pointing to the fan. Kind of like take care of this guy, looking like something out of the film, out of the movies, out of a Scorsese movie. Take care of this guy. Give him to Kevin. <laughs> Can we get on Harvey Levin to find out if if Kevin if 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 this fan met with Kevin and the fan's good? I'll tell you this. Let me speak on behalf of the fan who met Kevin. Dolan's Kevin. By the way, great. Fantasy name, Dolan's Kevin. Dolan's. Okay. There's, there's a Kevin Deegan who's been uh, supervisor of security at MSG since okay. October 95. Let me tell you. So Kevin Deegan has seen all the crap that Dolan has served out there. That is the actions of a man, James Dolan, thin-skinned. You're in New York, buddy. That's the definition of an opinion. Sell the team. That's an opinion. Not rude. It might be somewhat untoward for you to have this fall upon your very sensitive ears because everybody else kisses your ass every day. Let me speak on behalf of this fan to the man who acts as if he has got a season ticket list that could be filled up Madison Square Garden a million times over if everybody decides to walk out on him seems like a guy who has every confidence of the world that you Nick fans are going to keep showing up in his building no matter what garbage he puts out there on the floor and right now what's out there on the floor is losing well enough to get maybe the best gift that Nick fans could get in Zion and get a couple other people to take this man's money this offseason to fill up the two max contracts that they've created with the trade of Porzingis so after trading away the the team's best player and most loved player for the hope that other people that will take this man's money, he follows it up, he triples down by telling a fan, enjoy watching on television, seemingly kicking him out forever. Let me say on behalf of this fan, sell the team, Jim. Sell it. Because you stink at this. You, as the New York phrase would say, stink on ice at this. You're terrible at it. 
You got no customer service sensibility. You're thin-skinned. You don't act like a New Yorker. Sell the team, Jim. I don't care if I never set foot in that building again, which would break my heart. Can't bring my kids into the place where I grew up loving the sport because I might get thrown out. I might meet Kevin. I don't want to meet Kevin. I want to meet a new owner. You stink at this. Sell the team, Jim. And all Nick fans out there, if you set foot in this man's house after he treats this fan like that, you stink too. But man, I hope they get Zion. <laughs> <laughs> Take that for data. Yes. Sell the team, Jim. Come send Kevin for me. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.